Just made it to the lake here on opener. Still dark, seven o'clock. We had a two hour drive getting here. We just pulled up. We're gonna go get set up and go catch some brook trout. Start off trout opener. Trout opener 2022, baby. Let's go. Let it warm up for five minutes and fire this bad boy up. Oh. Dude, let's go. No way that just happened. Dude, what the heck? That was my fish. I attracted that thing. <laughs> Dude, what is it? Rookie. Dude, that was my fish. Get a nice close up. Beautiful. About a 14 inch brookie just pulled out of the hole here. Kind of a funny thing. You'll be able to see it in the video, obviously, but. Blake picked up to, uh, he was going to go outside, and he picked up his lure, and the fish came through the hole at, I don't know, what, six inches below the ice, probably. And I picked up to it, and it was crazy aggressive, and it kind of looped around and hit it, but what a beautiful fish. I'm going to get a measurement on it. This might be my new PB. No, I'll get back to you after I get a measurement, and I'll tell you what we got going on for length. Don't lock, don't lock, don't lock. Ooh, it's locked up. On a largemouth bass? What? I just caught a largey. It no, I caught it. What the heck? How big? I don't know, 12 inches. That's what bit at me this morning. Dude, that's so crazy. Well, that's not a good sign. Largemouth bass. I had to look at the DNR report, but from what I know, that's not supposed to be in here. It's not a good sign, but I don't want to keep it out of the water. I don't know the rules, so I'll release it. That's the second one we've seen this morning. I saw another fish that looked funny that hit me this morning, and it was a bass. That's not good. Let's go, we got one. Another brookie. Another brookie. Another brookie. Dude, the commotion works every time. Let's go. Meet down, beat down, smack down, crack down. Another beautiful trout out here. This one crosses 12 inches. The other one I measured is 11 and three quarters. My PV is 14, so not quite there, but just another beautiful fish. And we're gonna take this one home and fry it up too. Keep on watching. The fish are biting today. Yeah, your fish will be cool, but my fish. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's see it, Blake. Blake just hooked up. This will be the third brook trout of the day. Is it about the same size? That one almost looks like an inch bigger, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks a little bit bigger. I don't want to block the light here. Just another beautiful brook trout. That makes three for today. Gave me a second chance. Came hooked, in. Hooked up. <clears throat> popped off. Went to Gavin. Turned around, came back for me, and just hooked up. Well, should we get a tape measure on it, see what it is? Yes, sir. Blake's second brook trout ever through the ice. 
I suppose I got my second and third ever through the ice today. I'll show you guys the sight hole because I don't think you can see it real good in uh, the GoPro footage. But if you go off towards shore, it's just like a straight wall up to nothing. We're only about 10 feet offshore. The other way, it just drops off. The clarity is probably about 50 feet in this lake. And we're sitting in 20. What's the measurement? 12 and a quarter. 12 and a quarter. Does it have that clip fin? Nope. Full nope. fin on the back. There we go. Three fish for the day. Keep on fishing. Keep on catching. So pretty much for switching gears here. It is 1130. We're going to run into the nearest town and grab some food. But we got three brook trout. And uh, yeah, I'll show you guys them here. You can see all three of them pretty nice fish all right at that 12 inch mark but yeah like i said we're switching gears we're going from brook trout to now we're going to be going for rainbows and browns and you know if all goes well we can get all three of them caught today so that'd be pretty cool i've never done that before in my life and neither has blake so be kind of a neat task to accomplish but yeah we're gonna pack up and get out to the other lake and fish out there for a couple hours so stay tuned for the rest of this and if we don't catch any fish out there i suppose i won't record but either way i'll still talk to you again just made it down the goat trails pulling up to the lake access gonna unload go out get set up and now like i said before we're going for browns and rainbows hopefully we can grab a couple to come in and it went to bite and I went like that <laughs> so it just totally missed huh oh my goodness it scared me so bad because it came from your side and just was just gonna plow my minnow and I just I would say trout oh man messed it up I would say trout opener 2022 has been a pretty good uh, successful day for me and Blake three brook trout we had five, I believe, come in and bite. We ended up missing two of them. One was pretty small. The other one was a pretty nice 12 inch or about. Then we came rainbow and brown trout fishing. We didn't see any rainbows. We've seen one brown. Blake missed it, kind of a funny clip. It's in there. And then uh, he went outside of the house and he did some hole hopping and he had two chase him, one on, other two. The other one, uh, he had some technical difficulties with his rod. But yeah, pretty good day. We had about seven, or was it nine? Nine fish of action worth today. We only landed three of them, but what do you do? First day, you'll see a lot more of these videos. If you like them, like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.